So before you ha head out into the field to do your survey, you're gonna make sure you have all of your equipment ready to go. So we're gonna go through a list of all the things that you should take out in the field with you and other things that are really helpful for you to conduct your survey. Obviously the first thing that you're gonna need is your net. So we have, there's a wide variety of nets that are available um, that you can buy online. Um, we're also supplying nets to some of the folks that are participating in the project. Obviously you're gonna need your data sheets. So your data sheets that are on the website, um, they'll also be provided in some of the packets at the in-person training sessions. You're gonna want your camera or your phone to take photos with, and also um, your phones are handy because they have uh, GPS built into them so you can write your location down. Your vials, so you're gonna want your vials to collect your bees into, and then your photo chamber, so you can take photos of the bees after you've captured them. One thing that's really helpful is to have your cooler with you with ice so that you can chill the bees down so that you can process them after you've finished your survey. Another thing that's really helpful is a guidebook to bees. So Bumblebees of North America is a great guidebook. Uh, it gives you really diagnostic uh, features on the bees to tell you how to tell them apart. And then having your loop or your kind of little magnifying lens is very helpful for looking at some of those little bits so you can see some of the, the parts of the bees. And also just having a notebook and a writing utensil are very helpful to have with you in the field when you're conducting your surveys.